And I thought, my goodness, the world and the squirrels running up the trees and, and, and the, she was chasing the lizards and couldn't catch them. And uh, you know, the black snake ran away from her too. And, and I looked at all that creation and I thought, my goodness, how beautiful the world is that God gave us here. First of all, before I talk about heaven, I want to thank him for this right here. I want to thank him for this world that I live in tonight. I want to thank him for the eagle that flies and, and for the birds, the bluebird and, and the hummingbird. And I want to thank him for the creation of the rivers and the trees and the butterfly that uh, goes through the air so gracefully. You know, I don't think you can look for heaven till you get thankful for what God has given you right here. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to be thankful. Look at the wonder of your hand. Put your hand and look at move and see it move and, and the dexterity of it and the skill of it. Uh, look at the color of the eyes around you. Look at people uh, with their ability and their mind to think. Look at the fish in the sea and, and look at the beautiful ocean that we live around and the rivers that run Amen. and giving praise uh, and look what God has given us right here. Right here. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said in everything give thanks. Uh, I don't think you should start after you go to heaven. I think we should start here tonight and look past any sorrow, any problem, any tribulation, any trouble, any issue. And everybody just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give you the glory. I want to ask you a question tonight. How many have been saved from sin in this building? How many know that your sins are washed away? How many know that the blood has taken your sin? Praise the name of the Lord. My goodness, then, that should give us a praise offering in this place tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, let me read here because I want to get this. This is just what heaven means to me. When I look in the book of Revelations, the 21st chapter, and the ninth verse, I, and there came, uh, there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows, full of the seven last plagues, and talk with me, saying, Come hither, and I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. Verse 10, And he carried me away in the spirit, to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Now here's the beautiful description that just makes you awestruck. It takes the uh, word awesome and renders it almost useless because it can't describe heaven. It can't describe what God has created, the city of God that he has created for you and for me to be a part of, to walk in and walk among and be uh, there in a world where there, I like my brother Ernest and I just love to hear that man. Uh, when there's, there's no worry there, there's no stress there. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of these people, that, I'm not an escape person. I don't, I don't have to have somebody talk me uh, out of the reality. I can face reality. I can face reality right here. I can look at it just like it is. I don't have to have anybody blanket it or cover it, or, or I don't I, I don't like any escape things. Uh, I like if there's a fact, face it. If there's a problem, deal with it. If there's an issue, look at it. Uh, don't 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 go around and try to avoid it, and don't don't get anybody to paint you a picture with false colors. But look at reality. I'm a person like that. I can do that through the grace of God. So I'm not escaping anything here by realizing how beautiful heaven is. Right. Because this, with all of its beauty and all the setting we have here tonight, does not compare. Right. It does not compare. Right. Amen. 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 The Bible said, I have not seen, and ear hath not heard, right. and neither has it entered the heart of a man, the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Bless the name of the Lord. In my lifetime, I've been blessed with God to have an encounter with one that went to heaven. And God let me see them, speak with them, and talk with them. I believe that they visited me in the form of an angel, their new body, and it was beautiful to behold. I talked with that individual. I was able to converse with them. Old prophet of God came back to me. 
and spoke to me and gave me directions many years ago. And I've never forgotten that experience. I do believe that the soul lives beyond the grave. I do believe there's another creation. I do believe there's a house not made with hands. I do believe that there is a place where Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, but I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Praise the name of the Lord. Isn't that good? <laughs> takes the critic out of the ballpark, doesn't it? That, that takes the unbeliever out of the house uh, because he said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, but I go to prepare a place for you that, come on, I'm getting it. Where I am, there you may be also. Praise the name of the Lord where I am. So Jesus is with us tonight in the spirit. But where he is, I'm going there. Where he is, I'm going to look upon him. And one day, the Bible said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to behold the face of the Father. I'm going to behold the face of the Son. I'm going to behold the face of the angels, because around the throne of God, there are angels crying hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And the Bible said in Revelations, it's only he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. And he showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, having the glory of God, having the glory of God. And her light was like a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Just think of it tonight. The glory of God, the light of the city is compared to a precious stone, clear as crystal. Bless the name of the Lord. Sometimes we need to spend an hour or two and get our mind off the nasty now and now. Amen. We need to get our mind off the nasty now and now. Are you listening tonight? You need to get your mind off the nasty now and now. Did you know you're earthbound till you can become heavenly minded? Did you know you're earthbound as long as you're uh, yeah, if you're earthbound you're, and you're not heavenly minded, but if you'll be heavenly minded tonight, your cares will be minimized. Your troubles will be dealt with. Your issues will not be as large. If you would just let Christ enter your spirit with praise and then visualize heaven. And one day being there, you're not escaping. You're not, somebody said, but that's taking a pill and getting me out of reality. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, friend. When I think of heaven, it isn't like any drug on this earth. Because you know why? I don't just take it and it affects me for an hour or two or three or four. But what I take from God in my vision of heaven and the hereafter, it has affected me for a life. In my lifetime, I have not been the same. I'm changed tonight. You're changed tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, you're changed. You're not the same. Hey Amen. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? Are you just think that's a preacher talk? Do you really believe that? The Bible said if any man be in Christ, he is a new preacher. All things have passed away. And behold, all of the Lord. I'm not a part of a new life. I am a new life. I'm not a little bit of a change. I'm a complete change. I'm not part of Jesus. I'm all of Jesus. He is in me. He's within me. He's in my hand. He's in my feet. He's in my eyes. He's in my words. He's in my spirit. 
Spirit. He is. Yes. I said he is. Yes. He's Alpha. Yes. He's Omega. Yes. He's the beginning. Yes. He's the end. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. He is. Yes. He is God yesterday. Yes. He is God today. Yes. And he's God tomorrow. Yes. And he'll be God the creature. Yes. Yes. He'll be God when the tax man comes. Yes. He'll be God when the insurance man comes. He'll be God when sickness comes. He's God when death comes. He's God when life is present. He is God. He's existent. Not non-existent, but existent. Praise the name of the Lord. He isn't a car you carry in your pocket. He's not a rhyme you make up. He's not religion. He is a deity. me you've seen the Father. Praise the name. I'm so excited up here I'm not sure what's going to happen. I do know this is an explosive Sunday. I do know I feel the Holy Spirit. I've got a little old steam up here man. I'm steaming up here. Praise the name of the Lord. Feel something in me bellowing out of my soul tonight because heaven is there and heaven is going to come down to the earth and I am going to see the face of God tonight. Hope. Hope. You know, this is different than the hope of getting a new house because you've got a new house, have it for a few years, it's going to go one day. Buy a new car, drive it, oh my stomach, keep it. Don't let a scratch get on it, yeah. but no scratch will, a dent will, finally. Yeah. Yeah. And the old stuff, leave the dent, leave the scratch, yes. leave whatever there is, uh, yes. because you can't keep it new forever. You can't keep anything new forever. You can't even keep life new forever. But heaven is never old. Heaven is beautiful. I'm going to a place uh, where there is nothing like it on the face of the earth. Come on now. Amen. The Yankee Stadium doesn't approach it. Amen. Amen. The White Cliffs of Dover, I've seen them Hallelujah. sail right by them, and nothing approaches it. All the wonders of the world doesn't approach it. Get your mind on heaven with me a few minutes, and you'll feel like that disease that you may be battling in your body, God will conquer it. Get your mind on heaven tonight. And you won't worry about the shortage of dollar bills. In fact, I'm going to ask everybody here with you their pocketbooks before we leave here tonight in the offering box. Praise the name of the Lord. And you won't worry about it. Amen. And to believe God, they will fill it. That's just going to put there it is. Just dump it out. Praise the name of the Lord. And believe that God will fill it. He will. Amen. You won't worry about that. You won't worry about uh, I, I came in tonight after I went across the street to feed the dog, and I came back, and my these pins in my legs were beginning to bother me a little bit. I don't know why. And I, uh, there's 18 of them there from here down, and, and, and I got my mind on the Lord, and I looked over here, and I saw the people coming in the church. And I said, Lord, your business over there is more important than my leg right, right here. That's right. And you can call it psychology or or hypnotizing yourself, or whatever you want to do. I call it getting your mind yes. on a higher power. Yes. Getting your mind on a higher power. Amen. Amen. There's no pain in your body that a higher power, Jesus Christ, cannot conquer. Amen. Amen. There's no fear you have tonight yes. that God cannot overcome. Amen. It doesn't matter what is bothering you earthly. Let's see heaven tonight. Amen. Praise the name of God. We're the only people on the face of the earth that believes Christians that they're going somewhere after they die because the believer, the unbeliever, believes he's going to the grave and that's it. I'm not going to the grave. I'm going to catch the Federal Express and hop on the grave. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to be caught up in a moment in the twinkling.
but I shall be transformed. They may look at the body, but the soul is gone. Out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do I want to do, buddy? I want you to get as excited as you can get. I want you to punch somebody next to you and say, are you awake? Are you awake? Traffic. 
Well, I know what to do to make it through a tight corner in traffic. I have a steering wheel, I have a foot pedal down here, and I trust the horsepower under the hood. <laughs> so when my mind coordinated the attack, I just simply if you've got power, use that. Amen. Well, I have power in the hood and not use it. When you got stopped by sin and doubt and fear, right. don't act like you've got a pussycat. Under the hood. Right. Of right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you've got Jesus, you've got the difference because he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise the name of the Lord. He's a conqueror. Amen. Some of you, I'm telling you right now, we need to have a revival. We, we need to have a soul transformation. Born again. Hallelujah. Period. I say the church just needs to realize that they have God and He's present and He's right here. You don't have to call Him up. You don't have to say, Come from somewhere. He's here right now. touched your house Amen. and you are on your way to one of the great miracles in our church tonight. I don't know when the train's going to pull in the station, Paul, but as we open Tabernacle Christian School in a few days, I expect a report from that school that you are rejuvenated, that you are delivered, and you are healed in the name of Jesus. Did you hear what I just said? Put that in the devil's pipe and let him smoke. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because I believe that God is ready to do something for the church right now. Even the color 
letters on the wall are fly. No, fly. <laughs> How many rainbows have you seen lately? Are you living up? Meltdown? No meltdown. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is all power. He's all power. He isn't a meltdown. He's a send off. He'll take your soul from the lower floor to the higher floor. He'll change your life. But you've got to get all that junk out of your mind. If you're a junk peddler come to town, you might as well unload your wagon. Because you're in the right place tonight to leave the junk wagon alone, God. New unlimited train to glory. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you want to keep junk, you'll go home with junk. And somebody will say, did you enjoy the service tonight? And you'll say, well, it was all right, but it could have been better. <laughs> you'll walk out the door and somebody say, did you enjoy the Lord tonight? Well, where was he? I'm not quite sure where he was. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Lord tonight? Well, it was one of those services, you know. <laughs> and before you get to the car, you'll have a spat and argument with somebody. <laughs> but if you buy here with glory right and few glory in you, and all you can see is heaven coming, and one day you're going to be there, and you're going to be with the throne, and this is what heaven means to me, it doesn't matter what the earth is. You'll rise up, and you'll have your supper 